that my world of tomorrow, one of the common themes that we hear is about internet of things and about automation. But the problem with automation is you're going to have a lot of job losses. But is that really, really the case? We speak to Vernon from Cisco to find out exactly what that means as far as our job creation is concerned. IoT, the Internet of Things, very simply it's about connecting things. People to machines, machine to machines and the other way around. The IOE is a story of deriving value. If you're moving through a process of understanding how you connect things, create data, analyze the data, tie it to process, tie it to people who action it and then drive value. So uh, whereas there's no inherent value in connecting things, uh, there is value when you connect things to data, processes, and people. Yeah. We've did a, a very detailed study with 7,500 IoT leaders around the world, you know, 61 different use cases, and we came up with the IOE value at stake study. And that says that in the next 10 years, the internet of everything will add $19 trillion of value cost savings to global economy. But that breaks down at a country level. So for South Africa, we're looking at the order of 500 billion, and that's divided between the public sector and the private sector. And in the public sector, we look at things like smart grid, digital cities, uh, cyber security, uh, and very similar in the private industry. I think uh, the Internet of Things is predicated on broadband, on connectivity, and not just any connectivity, rich media connectivity. The good news is the continued investment in broadband. You know, we're seeing market consolidation, we're seeing continued investments, you know, open surf, now from Telcom, getting broadband prices uh, fixed and, and um, creates competition in the market and more affordable. We're also seeing at the same time great investment in mobile technology, LTE coming to life. So yeah, from, from an infrastructure point of view, more can be done, but the situation is improving. The barrier to value in IOE is that IOE is applicable to multiple industries. So think manufacturing, mining, oil and gas. And what we see is that this is the opportunity for the CIO to rise up and become the person that drives and owns innovation. So IT no longer needs to be enabling the business, no longer, no longer needs to be in the business, IT needs to be the business. And the barrier we find is that CIOs are absolutely encumbered with keeping the lights on. There's no time and resources to invest in innovation. Further research with partners that we have in the IT industry have shown that the trend has changed. In fact, the research that we have through executive corporate board shows that Three quarters of the, uh, the C-suite, and not just IT, the C-suite's agenda revolves in some fashion or some form around technology. So it's a massive change. And then secondly, we know that every CEO knows that technology will, uh, will define, it will enable, and it will differentiate his strategy. So C-suite's attitudes to technology fundamentally changing, not just, uh, you know, uh, from a high level perspective, but definitely from an empirical perspective. Three quarters, 75% of the time, agenda is focused on technology. Cisco's published a recent document on 100 use cases across multiple verticals where we see the value of IOE. Let me touch on two things that are close to my heart. The first one is digital cities. Uh, you know, we want to talk about how do we drive greater value for our citizens? greater services at the same time you know city leaders as much as they talk about citizen welfare they are also interested in you know show me the money kind of thing right and so with the case study I want to talk about which is the city of Barcelona is by, by looking at low-hanging fruit opportunities so uh, parking uh, uh, smart lighting waste management these simple low-hanging fruit were able to do a couple of things one is they're going to drive value of three billion dollars in the next ten years uh, across all of the solutions, but at the same time, here's the kicker for us in South Africa, because we talk about the you know the three issues in South Africa: uh, unemployment, inequality, and poverty. So job creation is a high is a high on the agenda. In going through this process and, and, and this process to value that Barcelona went through, they created 47,000 jobs as well. So everyone thinks that automation and, and the simplification and rationalization will lead to job losses. 
that's not always the case. So that's the first case study I'll talk about. The second one I want to talk about, which is really, really applicable to South Africa, is mining. We're in a depressed mining, uh, the mining sector is depressed right now. We worked with a company uh, called uh, Dundee Precious Metals. And through automation, through connecting you know, trucks, people, processes, simplifying IT, we're able to quadruple the output of that mine. Think about profitability on that. Now, the kicker on that was that while they quadrupled output, they also added on the, in that particular year $2.5 million of savings. 